this is not how I wanted to do my first ultrasound. I hope everything is okay. Um, like nervous. I want this IV on my arm. He couldn't come back here with me, so I'm extra nervous. This is not cool. So I got the ultrasound. They did two parts to it. Like they did the one on my belly and then they they put one inside of me and did an ultrasound that way. <clears throat> I don't know what to think. She couldn't tell me nothing. She said the doctor had to tell me everything. So I'm just sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and that should be coming in here soon. So, I hope everything is okay. I hope this is just a normal thing. They say it's 20% normal to believe in the first trimester, but then it's like also, you know, not good to be bleeding. I didn't bleed my first time with Jamiko in my first trimester but I also I had morning sickness I didn't have morning sickness with this baby so just fingers crossed fingers crossed everything is okay um all the doctors they've been nice Everybody been nice. I can't complain. I just don't feel like waiting. I just want to know, like, straight up. But I guess, you know, they got to do everything they got to do. Determine. This is just nothing I expected because I had no morning sickness, so... I'm just like, everything cool, I'm good, da, da, da. Then all of a sudden I start bleeding. So, I'm like, if it keep going, I'll go to the hospital. And I'm at the hospital. So. Hmm, I don't know, y'all. This is nerve wracking. I just hope there's gonna be no high risk pregnancy. I just hope it all be normal. I just really hope that I can keep my baby and there's not no bad sign. <sighs> all right, y'all. Waiting for the doctors to come in.
complications. And okay, so the baby didn't have no heartbeat, basically. Um, I don't know what caused everything. But I have been stressed out. That's for sure. So... And I've been trying to do everything normal, and I didn't have no morning sickness, so I just thought everything was going to be okay. But stress is serious, so I was stressed out, and I think that's kind of what pushed it to the edge. On top of me not really being careful with the way I was, like, cleaning and taking care of my two-year-old, so. And then, like, she wasn't just normal stress, y'all. Like, she's stressing out because all this crap that's going on in the world on top of a bunch of different obstacles we didn't have to you know, overcome like personal issues we deal with all the time life issues that's mm -hmm. just been hitting us back to back hard like it's crazy so um i'm sad i'm sad um i'm gonna get over it i know how not to like I've been to basically I've been depressed before so I know how to like get out of it but I'm not about to sit up here and not let my mind grieve and not try not cry I'm gonna cry when I gotta cry like I can't just sit up here and try and hold in these tears because I was extremely happy about having another baby we both was so we both is extremely hurt we're gonna be the same on our videos you know like we gon' not just sit up here and go completely blank on y'all. I'm okay. I know it happens to probably like a lot of women. So I have a son, so I can't complain. Like, um, on my end, it is hurtful. Yeah, it was feel? also irritating because when I took her to the hospital, they wouldn't even let me come in the back. Like, we came in together. What's the problem with us going to the back? We had on masks and everything, but I guess that's their protocol. But I ain't like I had to sit in the car not knowing what was going on. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, y'all. But not knowing what was going on. And then I knew she was scared. It's just a weird feeling not to beat her. When you know you should be and you want to be. So, I mean, it had a hard impact on me. But it still don't compare to what she actually has to feel. Like, she had to go through the pain. She had to go through them doing everything to her. She had to go through or still going through the process of everything. How should I say it? Um, expelling itself from her body or whatever. But... It's just not nothing no woman should have to go through. And to every woman out there that been went through it, my condolences, y'all are very strong women. And keep your head up. Yeah, but I was telling her we gonna be okay. Like, I'm okay. We okay. It's sad. We did not get attached. We can, we both agree like we didn't get attached to a heartbeat because our initial doctor's appointment, first doctor's appointment was that Friday. But I was at the hospital on Tuesday. This happened a couple of days ago. And, um. I just felt like we should let y'all know because we don't want to keep hearing stuff about the baby and, you know what I'm saying, about the gender reveal and all that. And the only way to stop that is to come on here and let everybody know what's going on. Yeah, I was really excited though. Like, that's crazy. Um, my stomach is like completely like back to normal, and it went down. And um, it's still physical pain. It still hurt a little bit. It just was one day it hurt it like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But um, I'm getting over it and. He keeping me, we like really been trying to uplift each other, y'all don't understand. We've been making each other laugh. We've been just like being there for each other. And it's been feeling good like to know that you got somebody to go through it. You're not going through it by yourself. So I appreciate you for making me laugh and stuff. And 
for all you men out here that have women in this situation and y'all not doing nothing or y'all not there. Man, look up. Period. And um, I don't know. Um, um, talking about the house situation? No, we stay tuned for the next video. And we'll tell y'all we'll what's tell going on because there's more stuff that's going on. Like, it's just like we keep just getting the short end of the stick in life mm -hmm. right now, but it's cool. Major setback for a major comeback. Yeah, so thank you for the love. Support. Um, support. I may be a little odd. I ain't going to say I'm going to be perfect happy, but I'm going to try and stay happy because that's the best way to get things back to normal and um you know y'all stay tuned for our videos because we're gonna keep coming with some videos because we love doing this so make sure y'all turn on y'all post notification bells and yeah see y'all on the next video everybody stay safe black is beautiful black is powerful black is eternal black lives matter we love y'all see <laughs>